And we are back. Man, okay, so this one's a little special. This one's different. Uh, Adventures of the Black Nerds. We're sitting here powered uh, and powered and distributed heavily by Tone Deaf Radio. Tone Deaf Spreaker. Tone Deaf Spreaker. Yeah, Spotify. Man. All them cool things. I iTunes. Heard, man, we on everywhere. We on huh? everywhere. I feel powerful. I do. I feel too powerful. Yeah, right? Like, it's I, dangerous. Like, I got four... Stones. Yeah, like, oh, I got four oh, of them. Just need one more. Mm-hmm. It's over. Uh, I don't know if I could sacrifice <laughs> my firstborn, but um, I don't know if I want it that bad. Oh man, you yeah, I would have to skip out on the. Yeah, I'd be like, eh. that's the soul one. That was the soul, soul stone. stone. Yeah, I would, yeah. Have to, I would have to skip out on the soul. Yeah, stone. like why can't I just like assassinate somebody with an afro or you know something? Like I don't know. But 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 that was his. That was his. Yeah. The one thing he truly loves. That's yeah. what he said, right? Yeah. Like damn, what would that be? Damn, I don't know. You know, because I, I know, truly love my daughter. I truly love my wife. I'm gonna tell you. Like, for me, it would be like sacrifice gaming. Oh shit! I'm being honest. That, like, that is a true love. I'm, I'm just being. I love my wife to death. Yeah. But so you're saying so you would it be harder? Ooh, are we getting deep? But listen to that. Ooh, though. how evil is that? That's would it be less? Okay, we gonna play this. Okay, it's gonna get dangerous All right, right now. All right. No gaming for the rest of your life mm-hmm. in any form. Any form? <laughs> Damn, I can play Connect Four. Look, no gaming. <laughs> or you sacrifice? You pull a you pull a Thanos. Listen, I got questions. <laughs> no, because of course that's why I said in any form. Yeah, because I'm like, damn, I can't play with action figures. Yeah, that's just what I'm saying. <laughs> There's so much that's cut. Okay, we're not playing this game. <laughs> Because this is all this gonna do is get us in trouble. Well, I would, no, no, because uh, naturally, you're gonna you're you're going to get rid of gaming. Naturally, you are. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> you. Oh, also, there there is no visuals for this because it, this is a special. Oh podcast. yes. Oh my bad. We're actually here. At, we're at a conference. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're we're over at Animanga. Uh, 2018. Yes, and uh, we are sitting actually in our room chilling. Yeah, and uh, but back, you know, back to our. This is why you don't see any visuals for this this week's podcast, um, or for this episode. This is episode 32. Yeah, it is 32. 32. So, all right. Um. Oh, and we figured out our year mark would be the this, 31st the end of this month of August yes. for the podcast. Yes. So. That's when we break We're almost to a year doing this. Dang, man. That's, that is that's, so wild. That's wild to say. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm, and remember, we started off like this. We started off in the room having the conversation yep. face-to-face. Uh-huh. Um, this is like the ultimate. Like full circle. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. So You see how I'm trying to get away from it. Yeah, you're trying to get but... away from it. But I'm going to say that I'm a, I have to answer for me and you because I know you. I also know me, obviously. Yeah. I don't think I think it we would give we would give up gaming. <laughs> but stop laughing, man. <laughs> Just stop laughing. We would give up we would have to give up gaming. I feel like anybody in that situation would have to. Thanos is the ultimate. Like he is the ultimate like, His rationality level is at yes, 100. Because he know what he would. It was all rash it was all rational. Look what he did. He was hyper rational. Look what he did for that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He did he went through hell and back for that. So so the question is, are you a hyper gamer? Like Thanos is hyper rational. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I still, I still got I still got five generations of Pokemon. Because to do. because look <laughs> I'm going to hell. Oh, look, Lord. So this is the thing. It's not that it's either gaming gone for good, yeah, or any type, or this any individual form of person, <laughs> not person. forever people. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not gonna get specific I'm not, on the person because no, cause no, no not, I'm not, I can't take it that I'm far. A, I'm gonna say I'm, okay. This is what I will say. All mm-hmm. jokes aside, in my my darkest part of my heart, I think I would give up the person so I can keep playing games because I that's, can always find a new person. See, but that's but Thanos. That's, that's but that's, Thanos. that's my darkest part. But yes. I know if I truly was met and somebody said I had to pick, he Lord I would Voldemort, give up. y'all. Yeah, I would. <laughs> he Lord Voldemort, y'all. <laughs> okay, I get you. 
I get and I I I I, I truly believe every man would pick would understand would give up where gaming. you're coming from. Yeah, and this is me. This is me being 100 no, no, percent callous your, and honest. Yes, understanding your dark part. Yeah, I feel like every man that has a vice that has something that they do, they and it doesn't naturally yeah. have to be gaming. Like we're using gaming right because this is what we do. But if if it was something that they had to give up, their vice. In the back of their head, they kind of like, like yeah. I don't want to. They they saying exactly what you saying. I don't yeah. want to play this game. <laughs> I don't like, want to do this no more. Like, like, <laughs> but naturally, it, yeah. you, we all know the answer. Like, let me tell you, I one of my one of my prayers, one of my constant hopes, because mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not very religious. I'm very spiritual. Like, yeah. I, I do believe in a higher being. One thing I consistently pray for is that when my time comes and I pass on and go to whatever. That I'm gonna have the opportunity to see the movies and play the games that are gonna come out. <laughs> I've ne- and let me tell you how real this is. I've never thought, oh, I want to meet my great 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 grandchild. That's never. And this is I'm being look, y'all y'all catching raw hundred percent truth. I've never thought, oh I man, go, I want to go see I, my go lineage. This, am I gonna get to see that new Star Wars? Yeah, like I want to. I want to be able to see the Star Wars that come out in tw- uh, twenty two ten. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. Um, and that's being honest. I, the reason why I say Star Wars is because the first Star Wars I seen in theaters was the Last Jedi. Oh, okay. That was the first Star Wars I seen in theaters. Got you. Okay? Now, process that. Yeah, the that's, first there's a Star lot. Wars. There's a lot. I, I started thinking. I was like... The Last Jedi... Did you was, go see that one with me? No, I went by myself. Yeah. Yeah, go the ahead. The Last Jedi was the one with the introduction of Kylo Ren. Yes. Now, I'm going to say it again. Yeah. That was the first Star Wars you I seen, seen in, theater. in the theaters. The whole movie, I had goosebumps. Yes. The whole that movie was great. Yes. I love that movie. I love everything about the movie. Only and because I got to watch I watch I have all the Star Wars, right? Yes. I watched them in perfect order and mm-hmm. I watched them in order that they came out, right? Got you. Just to understand it. Well, first of all, And for those that, who don't know, the movies were released out of order. Yes. Um were. the very first Star Wars film to come out was actually the fourth one exactly. in the timeline. Yeah. So just so you know what he's talking about. So for to, reference, to 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 process that, um, you got to think about it. I sat there and I watched them. First, I watched them in order that they came out. Then mm-hmm. I went back just to watch them again in perfect order, mm-hmm. right? And then this Star Wars come out. I get to go to the the release. Mm-hmm. I get to see the the cosplay. Mm-hmm. I get to see the energy behind this Star Wars movie, right? Yeah. And I go to the theater. And watch this with a full clapping audience, yeah. standing ovation audience. And the first thing I thought about was, I hope to God I get to see. See, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I legit like there. What fear? What did I have? Um, there was a game that kept getting pushed back. Uh, um, the, these are real worries I have. I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna die before they come out with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna get to see the end of this trilogy <laughs> if I get yeah damn. like like these are legit call me twisted call, but it, you know what I work okay let me let me piggyback and roll this over let's get a little professional uh-huh. I work in a social social space yes. sociology psychological base yes you know degrees and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm at a conference, so I'm not in work mode. Uh-huh. I work in a, not necessarily mental health, but long story short, I work with people and people and their minds and yes. whatnot. Oh, okay. I guess the social There's a, there, is there Yeah. Well, within one thing that I learned in taking all these conferences and all this other stuff and work and school, everybody's drive is not what you would think it is. Mm. One lady, and I love this example, she help this lady get her life on track by explaining to her if you do this this and that you'll be able to make more money so you can buy more makeup mm. she had kids yeah she had da 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 like all these things you would think the typical that should be enough for your drive Damn. that's not the case for everybody you know now what? I'm not telling you that gaming is my sole drive yes but I will tell you, it's up there. It's up there. <laughs> like, I mean, because that's gotta, my, you know what I mean. About how important it is. It's us. very important for me. It's important. It's important enough for me to say, 
you little kid can't touch my laptop. There you go. And this not only goes for like my, my daughter, this goes Just for period. nieces, nephews, yeah, when it, when people come over, kids. I don't even y'all, like y'all stay out this room. There you go. I don't even <laughs> like people taking people to my room. Y'all stay oh, out let this. me see your setup. No, 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 no. It, it's fine. Where it's at. Y'all can see yeah. this picture. Yeah, here's y'all a see picture. This picture. Of it. I yeah. you, and but that's it's important, it's important to important us to because you. this is what we do. My books is, too. I take my books very serious. Heck yeah. Like I, I don't like when people touch my books. Like it actually bothers. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking. Listen, about even it. controllers. Ooh. Controllers is a big thing with me. Mm. I have specific controllers that you can use. Yeah, like don't touch that. Because I don't use one. that one. Yeah, but all these <laughs> other ones. You well, don't touch you know these. what's funny? <laughs> that would bother me if I came over and I went to pick up the controller. And you're like, no, nah, I use this one. That, no, that's how I am. Yeah, like that's how I am. Like, I don't want to play. I'm really like that because of um, it makes a difference. It, it like if you get dry lag, yeah, or you get like your hands is dirty and it get into the seams of my controller See, like this, just over time. This, and now I gotta clean my this, controller. This is out. the thing that get me. If I break my controller, I broke it. I broke it. There you go. I was about to bring up a situation, but I don't want to go. Yeah, that yeah, well, we're not going that route. Uh, but. Yeah, I break my controller, I broke it, mm-hmm. I go buy it. There you go. But once you break this controller that I love, that I'm using, that I like, and you break it, you I'm gotta pissed buy off it. now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because either I still gotta buy it, or we not gonna be cool no more until you buy me. <laughs> yeah, like until you replace it. You need to replace this controller. Yeah. So what I try Which to they're do? They're all damn. Sometimes it costs more than games. Yeah, just as much as games. Yeah. The same damn. The same price. price. Yeah. And uh, well, in. Previous, time. previous, time. Yeah. before before we got fucked by or destroyed. Yeah, my language. yeah, destroyed by uh, season passes and stuff. Yeah, but um, with me, my con- my controllers is like if I especially when I and this is how I do it. If I buy a brand new controller or a new controller to my setup, everything gets bumped down. Mm-hmm. Oh, now you can use this controller. Mm-hmm. Oh, now you- my daughter picked up my scuff. I said, uh, uh-uh. uh. Yeah. <laughs> Put my controller back down. Hey, but you know what, though? And I hate... Okay, this... I've dealt with this where yeah. I've had my wife's friends or... Yeah, I had my wife's friends uh-huh. question, like, he plays games? And I'm like, well, this is kind of going down a different route, but the point I'm making is everybody has their thing. Yes. I know people who are handy with tools, and they love tools, and this is their thing. Mm-hmm. They they spend more than I do on my rig, my setup, on tools. On tools. Mm-hmm. So, do you think they're gonna let some just about anybody go in and borrow their hacksaw or hacksaw borrow their power drill? Yeah. You know, but no. You, you know what's crazy though? The amount of tools that people have in their garage or in their mm-hmm. whatever. Most of that shit they don't even touch. Yes. I got a gang of tools now. Mm-hmm. Now that I I have a home. Now that I have a family. Now that I fix shit, put mm-hmm. stuff together, hang TVs on walls mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I personally have a gang of tools that I'm probably never going to touch. Mm-hmm. So I say to my, uh, I say that because with my gaming, it's all it's it's a little bit different because there's games I probably haven't touched in a while, but I probably will touch it. Mm-hmm. I touch my PlayStation get turned on every day. Mm-hmm. This 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 sucker gets used every day. My laptop get turned on every, every day. day. I use this monitor every day. This mm-hmm. chair gets used. Every day, because the chair is very essential to your setup. Okay, let me let me put y'all on. <laughs> let me tell y'all how serious the chair is. For anybody thinking about getting into this, or if you do anything where you're sitting down for long periods of time, do not play yourself. <laughs> get you a good chair. They got good chairs on Amazon for you can get them for about around a hundred bucks. And I'm a big man. I'm a big man, mm-hmm. and I'm telling you, a comfortable chair. I used to sit on metal fold-out chairs yeah. streaming. That's what I When had. I tell you, my body felt like I was in like I was in recovery. Like I had been working out, not in a good way. Like I hurt myself. Mm-hmm. I would ache. I would get out the chair and limp and have to like go sit on the couch See? and lay down for about an hour before my body felt normal yeah. because I was sitting on this uncomfortable metal chair with no pillows no nothing Damn. and just be beat up get you a good chair if that's what you do and if you stand up all day and you sitting in one spot standing up get you a floor mat one of those cushion mats get you some good shoes do not play yourself when it comes to things you're going to use every day and you get spend the money 
Mm-hmm. It, you're investing in yourself and, and you're investing in your craft. Budget for it, bro. Look, listen, pe- uh, man. One of, one of the one of the the one thing about like the one thing about our podcast, and I, we haven't. Well, you, let me just let me skip to the point. Pretty much, uh, there's YouTubers out here that have desks that rise up uh-huh. so they can stand up when they wear when uh-huh. they're ready to and sit down. They got you. They got tables or. Um, they got desks that you push a button and it goes down to the mm-hmm. position they like it at or up into the position they like it at. So there, it's out there. Now mm-hmm. I'm not saying we all got to go out there and yeah. do stuff like that. Yeah. But what I'm you get something that can make you comfortable and don't cut corners where it counts. Yeah. That's because I learned that the hard way. Like here it is. I'm so happy I didn't go and buy a cheap laptop. Yeah. I bought one of the more expensive laptops that I could afford at that time. Time, exactly. So I could have went cheaper. the key part cheaper, about that is what, that you could afford. Afford. And this, that's like Travis just said, that is the key point. Mm-hmm. You buy what you can get. If you can afford the $75 uh, mic without killing yourself, get it. buy the $75 mic. Don't go buy the $25 one so you can have an extra. It <laughs> does I tried that. I took a hundred dollars and stretched it across three products, and one of my products died. Mm-hmm. I bought that, a cheap. I bought a cheap HDMI uh, splitter. Oh yeah. And it went out, and I thought my whole system died when yeah. it was just my yeah. HDMI splitter. Yeah. But that was me spending seven bucks on one when I probably should have spent twenty. Yeah. You know, like that's exactly what. It so is. now I'm about to buy two. So like now I'm gonna spend. Buy two. Now I'm gonna spend more. <laughs> yeah. Than what I would have spent if I would have just bought, bought the, the good. The, one. And I'm not even talking top range. Yeah. Get you a mid range one with a name on, with a brand or a quality that you know. Nowadays, there's multiple competitors to everything. Yes. You see what I'm saying? So we now you 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 look at you look at the the head honcho in this department mm-hmm. of equipment. You can always find something. Within the middle range, yeah, from the cheapest all the way up to that yeah, product. Always because there's multiple products out there that give you something. Like I usually, all um, for the most part, I, I'm mid grade. Yeah, I, I never buy top tier unless it's. Um, Mine's depends. It, it depends on what I'm getting. Exactly. Like a mic, you can kind of you can jimmy around. Yeah, but you do get what you pay for. Exactly. Um, with a keyboard, you get what you pay for. Yep. A mouse, you get what you pay for. Yep. But a splitter, whether it's a, a USB, whether it's a um, HDMI, mm-hmm. you can now you can play. Yeah, see me, how I work. I, just some quick examples with me. Um, I was I I wanted to learn keyboard right mm. for PC gaming. Mm-hmm. So instead of me going out and knowing damn well I ain't good with the keyboard mm-hmm. and all of that. Instead of me going out and buying the $100 mm-hmm. Death Adder, I know that's the mouse, but the Black Widow mm-hmm. with the mechanical buttons and all of that, I went to Walmart and got me a Black Widow gaming compu- uh, gaming uh, keyboard. keyboard yeah. And the reason why I did that is because the reviews, a lot of reviews on it said it was great. Mm-hmm. A lot of reviews on it says it's a good start. Oh, I read reviews like crazy. Me too. We had this. We had this podcast. Mm-hmm. We had this. Uh, this was what? A couple, couple, couple episodes, episodes ago. ago. Check yep. that out. That'll be in the description as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I sit there and I say to myself, um, let me go ahead and let me get, let me cop. Let me get this. It was way well within the range of my budget. And it also gave me, pro- it gave me something to test out. Mm-hmm. Right. Still and build your skills on it. Exactly. Still hasn't broken. Still love it. I'm cool with it as of right now. Now, once I get better at it and my new, my, I have another budget for another keyboard and, a, and another mouse, then I'll step my game up and try to get something else. I've tried products like the, the Razer, and I'm not calling them out. I haven't owned one, but mm-hmm. it wasn't for me when I tried it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I've tried up like Logitech my, my, uh well you would call them mice right mouse is it mouse go, whatever yeah. anyway you tried a Logitech mouse yeah, well multiple different ones yeah, yeah. there you go multiple my, uh, Logitech uh, peripherals stupid <laughs> and and some of them were great paraphernalia some... <laughs> gaming paraphernalia some of them were perfect I, I enjoyed multiple of them and I still didn't get them because I was like I for one I didn't feel ready for it and some they felt great, but they weren't in my budget. I wasn't about to drop 
that money on this. Cause, so, and and let me tell you, what's funny is not you know I gave that big speech about saving money and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, I went and found. Um, I like Amazon trusted uh, trusted products. Yeah. Or Amazon. Uh, verified I forgot what the term is trusted I think it is trusted okay Amazon trusted where basically it's like Amazon saying this is our best seller yeah this is what we sell the most of so my keyboard and mouse setup and I actually did a review and I will try to uh, we'll put the link below um I'll remind uh, our engineer slash co-host Travis yeah. to put it in um I it was a $30 keyboard and mouse set yeah the one I use the one you if you see me gaming on PC if you see me editing a video or anything, or when I'm streaming and all that, I'm using a $30 keyboard and mouse set. That's what I use. Um, and it is, I love it. Yeah. You know, I'm not sitting here trying to push the brand, um, even though I did apply to be a, a affiliate with them. <laughs> I haven't gotten a response yet, but it's okay. We does this over here. Yeah, we, you know, you know, I, you know, I make moves. Mm-hmm. I try. Um, but the point is. It took me a while to buy it. Yeah. Then it boiled down to, hey, you're only spending 30 bucks. But I know with some people, first starting off, or maybe that 30 bucks is the world. Maybe mm-hmm. that 30 bucks is the difference between you getting a game that's going to last you a couple months. and Whereas getting this. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. There's also, flip side to that, there's a lot of people out there that would, uh, that wouldn't even, they're, they're not going to go down this path of whether it's gaming yeah. streaming until they get that number one product that their favorite yeah, streamer is using. That, that sometimes that annoys me because you're stopping you're stunting yourself yes you're stunting yourself because of something that's out of your control and, that guy that person has it and let know? me and let me piggyback off of that and i love that you brought that up because yeah. that's perfect i'm so happy that I started the way I started. When I first started streaming, my first stream was off of directly from my Xbox. Yep. I had um I had a um I got my Connect and my little face which it ain't little, but it looked little on the screen and pop up in the corner yeah. and I would just be sitting there streaming from there. Then I got a capture card. Then I got a um what was the next step? A mic. I got a mic. Yep. Then and this and when I say then this is like weeks in between. <laughs> weeks in between. Yeah, like it's not it's not like oh today then tomorrow and uh-huh. no this is a big time span. So now I'm to a point where um, now I feel like I have everything. Yeah. I got my mic. I got my stick. I, everything. I need a light source. I need street. a light source. That's my next step. Yeah, is to buy a better light source mm-hmm. so I can get better lighting get a little light ring or something and keep, clip it behind my laptop right so you there. can see my pretty face even more you know it pretty but face. but these but these are things it takes time yep. now even even though i had the money to just go and buy it all at once i wouldn't appreciate it as yeah much. of course it that growing pains you learn to you love to learn to suck mm-hmm. you learn to love the grind yep and you have to you have to have that because it makes you appreciate it more, and then you become. I feel like you become more of a pro in your craft, because it's like, oh, not only do I know how to do it this way, I can do it with this. But if we need, so yeah, the, if, the look, the look at what we're doing right now. Yeah, we're sitting in a hotel room with a mic and a laptop. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That is it. And but, it's it's funny. Some people wouldn't believe it. Yeah, like we're si- that's all we got, and um. It's so crazy that, and I'm happy that we're able to do this without feeling like we're selling ourselves short. Yeah. Or, or feeling that we're giving a lower quality to the mm-hmm. people. Or um, I just like the fact that I know if we had to, we could bounce back to this and still keep pushing. And still keep pushing. Like You know, I think uh, and the people will appreciate it too. Because there's not one point throughout this process of us shooting the Adventures of the Black Nerds that we ever decided to to stray away from the originality of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we've always been the one to be like, hey, listen, if we can't, and I know we apologize for it, mm-hmm. if we can't 
shoot with visuals because something's going on, we're going to let y'all know. Yeah. It sucks that we can't do it. Yeah. But we want to continue to, to, to shoot. produce this. Yeah. To, to have this conversation every week. Whether it's a whether it's about the same thing sometimes, or whether it's yeah. about you know something that we may disagree on, yeah. we'll still have a conversation and we'll still get it out to you guys. So, us going back to something that's as minimal as this is perfect for us. This yeah. is where we came from. This is where we started. Yeah, like, this so, is this is what we this is how we got out. Yeah. Um, I I think we spent a gang of time on this. Yeah, and I, let me. And I, I was just about to wrap it. I'm sorry to cut you off. I no, was just about good. to wrap it back to what the whole point was. Okay. I so this is um this is actually a big weekend, um for X T Jones for T Jones. I'm sorry about that. Um, we this is his first conference. This is his first expo. This is his first uh, experience with this realm. This realm, yeah. Um, and it's so funny because I feel bad, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of going to interview him in a way. Um, I feel bad, not that I'm jaded by it, but I've been to so many, and I do it. Well, you weren't, see, you weren't as starstruck as I was. Yeah. <laughs> see, I, I was starstruck. And it's, it's funny. It's so funny. <laughs> listen, listen, everything that we've seen here. Uh-huh. Um, at uh, Anima- see, I was even saying it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> at Anamanga, yeah, two thousand and eighteen. Two thousand eighteen. Anamanga. Every, everything that we've seen here, I've seen on the internet, right? Yeah. But I didn't get to see it in person. So I know all about cosplay. Yeah. I know all about this. I know all about that. Some animes I'm not familiar with, sure. or most of the a lot of them. Yeah. I'm not familiar I'm not even, with. I consider myself. <laughs> Semi versed in it, but I'm still I know nothing. Well, you knew more than me. I know nothing. Because you Snow. call it you, you man, you calling out swords, you uh-huh. calling out weapons, and I'm like, <laughs> man, I don't know. I could call out a, a gang of stuff that I'm familiar with. Well, and that and that's um and that's something that was really cool, and I actually wanted to ask you about. Um, how did you feel about the the amount of content? And the variety, there you go, the variety of things available. I thought it was great because okay. it was some cool, dope stuff that we'll be, I'll be taking a look at tomorrow and getting in, truly involved in tomorrow mm-hmm. that I really didn't get a chance to, or not not that I didn't get a chance to today, but that we it was so much that I was on, I was, I was like a kid in a candy store. I was on to the next, on to the next, on to the next, looking here. It was always something for me to look and walk towards. And I thought that the variety of stuff within here, it was a lot of stuff I was familiar with. I was familiar with most of the games that we've seen. I was familiar with some most of the characters. We've seen a lot of Pokemon stuff, Dragon Ball Z stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, it, but it was a lot of stuff I didn't know that looked dope, mm-hmm. that looked tight. And I'm sitting there like asking, we're talking to the people that run mm-hmm. their booths and we're asking them questions and we're getting to meet these people, seeing people. I haven't watched a Naruto episode and we had a, man, we had a full on conversation. We took this dude hostage. Basically, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we were sitting there talking to him and having this conversation about Naruto had me all like, I literally have to watch these episodes tonight. Well, okay. You see what I'm saying? So. And- it was a lot for me. And let me and this is and this is why I wanted to ask you that because if you turned around and asked me this question, I would simply say this is the smallest conference I've ever been to. Yeah. You know what? You okay, I do remember you saying that. But for me, I, this in is the a back lot. of my head, I'm like I'm not ready. Hey no. Hey <laughs> no. And this but I'm one thing I will say folks. Yeah. Anna manga is so dope. I love smaller conferences. Yeah. Because they're intimate, you don't feel the the hustle and bustle isn't there. Yeah. It's enjoyment. You okay. get to just in, imagine going to Disneyland and it's empty. Mm-hmm. That's what's happening right now. Disneyland doesn't get less less fun when less people are there. Yeah. It just now you get to enjoy and soak in more because you're not rushing to go sit in a, this you're hour line, two hours. Yeah. You're not crunching because you only the park's only open so many hours. Yeah. But each each ride take an hour and a half to get to. Yeah. So you you losing out. But with this, we can sit and talk with the booth people. Mm-hmm. That and that's what I know. I, I know you caught that. I'm sitting there damn near interviewing every booth we go we to. Go to yeah. because it we you, you normally don't get to do that yeah. because it's so much. 
hustle and bustle. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I've been to Comic Con, Wonder WonderCon, uh, Anime Expo, GameStop Expo, which they canceled. Mm-hmm. Sad as hell about it. Wow. Um, and a manga, and then Palm, I didn't get to go to the Palm Springs. Uh, Stan Lee Expo. He started his own expo. Yeah, I did um, see that. Yeah, I wanted to go, and then there was another one that happened in Ontario at the Citizen at Citizens Bank. Arena, yeah. They they started one there. Okay. Um, so there, it's always something to go to. Yeah. So being able to get to something this intimate, it it's fun. I feel like I can relax. Yeah. I don't feel pressured. I'm not bumping into people because I'm already big. I, you, but you know what? Having the conversation we had, and this is all for. Uh, off the podcast, we, we having the conversation about the expo mm-hmm. and what's gonna happen, what to look out for, mm-hmm. what to do. Damn near coaching me. Yeah. What what's to expect? Yeah. And this is what we need to bring, this is what we need to do. It was nothing like that, how you explained it, because it was so small. Small. It was so intimate. So when we get in there, I'm sitting there walking, I'm strolling, I'm looking, I'm shaking people's hands, I'm yeah. talking to people, I'm having conversations with people that you would think, I would, oh, you need to keep going, yeah. keep going, keep going. But it's never that. We're walking into people's little booths makeshift and, booths yeah. and holding up. And it's not like we're holding up, it's not like it's a minute or like, Two, three minutes. It's mm-hmm. five minutes before a lot of people start piling mm-hmm. up behind me. Now it's oh, okay. You know, maybe we should step up on the step up on uh, on out of here. But it was so much room in there. Yeah, and it know? felt good. It didn't look like other expos. Yeah, it felt like it, but it didn't look, look like, like it. it. And, and, go and that's what made it dope. So yeah, I I, I think it was. I do feel like for me at least, it this was is a, a great lot. intro. Yeah, this, I think this was a very solid intro, and it, it's. And then when you go to another one that's a little more bigger and uh, or been around longer, because mm-hmm. that's usually what it is. When something's been around for a long time, it gathers attention. Yeah. Even like things grow. Um, if you talk to somebody about um, Comic Con from twenty fifteen years ago, it's nothing like what it is now. Yeah. Like it's stupid. You might as well just shut down San Diego. <laughs> you know, like yeah. don't even go. Like that's, that's the biggest thing. mistake yeah. you can make unless you had it planned. Yeah. Um well my um my next uh what was my next point I wanted to ask? Well when it comes when it comes to these con oh what I like about this conference and this being a smaller one is I go to conferences for the artist alleys mm. to go by this is what I usually go to conferences, uh, expos, and conferences for, to look for look for uh, pops or collectibles that I've been that I've been wanting, but I didn't. I'm like ah, I don't want to buy it. I want to look at it first because a lot of this stuff you can't just walk into a store and find. Yeah, a lot of it you're ordering offline, of and I don't like always ordering offline because it takes the magic out of it. Yeah, like if. It feels okay. Perfect example. I'm gonna give a quick little anecdote, and then I'm gonna jump back to the story. Um, I was looking for a Spike Spiegel, the main character from Cowboy Bebop. I was looking for his uh, pop figure. I could have easily ordered it twenty something bucks on Amazon, but I'm like, I don't like that. I want to walk in somewhere, see it, then buy it. Pick it up, look at yeah, it. Yeah, I want to. It, it just feels better. It yeah. feels more like a collector than just somebody with a wallet. Mm-hmm. Like. Anybody yeah. with a wallet can just go and slap. Could you Anything imagine? They want. <laughs> let's let's take it to shoes. Could you imagine walking into a store, looking on the rack or looking in a box and seeing whatever shoe you've been looking for? That would feel I, way better because yeah. now you know you're gonna get it store price one. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's not gonna be inflated. <laughs> then it's the fact of like I walked in the store and look what I found. I found this. I found this. Yeah, like it gives a whole new. It give it makes you care about it more mm-hmm. than you just dropping money on it because you yeah. can't. It, it adds a feel to you it. Know, Maybe that's, that's just me being a collector. That I don't sound know. like those people who go to like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Yeah. to find shoes. Oh, bro, that get. my homeboy. Shout out to kiddo. He picked up a pair of Spazikes, the Mars Spazikes oh, really? from um from Mark Ross or Ross, when they have them. Yeah, he they picked up them. some Spazikes. They... I remember waiting for Spazikes, like oh, um, with the Mars black men on the yeah, back yeah. with his eye, bro. I wanted those. I don't like Jordans. Mm-hmm. I am not a Jordan. I like them. I like to look at them, but I'm not a. I want to go and buy wear well, Jordans. Collect I, them, yeah. yeah, I'm not. This it's never been my thing. It's yeah. too expensive for something that's going on my feet, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna be mad. Then I get mad when they get dirty. Like it makes no, it, <laughs> the concept makes no sense to me. Uh-huh. I get why people enjoy them, 
But I just, eh, it ain't for you. It ain't for me. So, but those, especially the Mars Blackmans, mm-hmm. what were they? What are they like? Four hybrids? I think they're three. Three. Okay. Three. Yeah. See, I even kind of know my numbers. Yeah. Like I, you know I, I know. He doing his I, I kind of, <laughs> you know, I can look at something and be like, oh, them is jump mans. Yeah, oh, them yeah. is the ones. Oh, like I can keep yeah. up. My favorites though, I had a pair of thirteens. The ones weren't the thirteens that he got games too. Yeah. Okay, I had a pair of 13s with the green holographic. Uh, yeah, see, I got yeah. those. Yeah. Okay, I had those as a kid. Uh-huh. Um, but that's not the point. Um, the point was, I wonder, I, he was so happy, and it was such a dope experience, and I know I would have felt dope. Yeah. I don't even wear them, and I would have bought them. Just because it's like, I walk into a store, and you're telling me I'm seeing $30, $40, dollars Spazikes that yeah. I remember seeing, you can only order them. Like, order yeah, or, or you had to get a limited. raffle or, yeah. yeah. So that's why it was so special when I went to a conference. Okay. And now I'm wrapping it back up. I walk into the conference and I see the Spike Spiegel for 15 bucks. When I, you, so not only did I save money, which and when you really think about it, I didn't. Yeah. Because I had to go to a conference to get it. <laughs> Pay to get the conference. But, but I got in person bought it Got walking minding my business and then seen it Man. and it just added that it's, whole it's, you know what it's watching you in this environment when you get to seeing stuff he pointing it out call, oh isn't that the gun from such and such <laughs> oh isn't that the sword from I'm like damn what's wrong with him <laughs> like, no but you know what you know what though what was dope was watching you interact and hitting on Destiny, yeah, hitting on uh, it, it just it's such a trip because mm-hmm. I love seeing people shine in what they love, yeah. That is the that's the best thing ever when you see that glow in people like you are happy, this is something you enjoy, mm-hmm. and you're talking to somebody else who enjoys it, and you guys are bouncing ideas off each other, yeah. People light up, and I was like, that's I that's humanity did, at its best. I know I did, like, I know I did because I was sitting there and Watching all of this, seeing all of these people, you know, getting to sit, just sitting there and experiencing or and being in this environment to experience the, just the feel of it, mm-hmm. <coughs> excuse me, was a different, it was serenity at that. <coughs> and you know why, you know what that is, bro? That's a large group of people being themselves. Yeah. You get to be yourself, they're being themselves at their best. Hell, we were kicking it, and shout out to Mr. Kakashi himself. We were kicking it with a gentleman. I don't want to put his name out there, but we were kicking it with a gentleman who was cosplaying as Kakashi Hitake, a black dude, Mm -hmm. killing it. His outfit was on point. point. If you watch Naruto, he was killing it. Contact, he had his, uh, 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 I forget how to say it, Mangakyo, um... Sharingan, he had a contact lens. He had everything down to the the jacket, kunai. He was killing it. Mm-hmm. Wig was on point. <laughs> killing it. He looked <laughs> he like Kakashi it. Hitake. Yep. Gloves and everything. But the point was, it was so dope to be around people who you don't look weird doing that. Yeah. That's not weird. Yeah. You're being yourself and you're around other people who enjoy it and want to see it, want to take. We're talking to them and people walking up like, can we take a can picture? We take a picture? I, I we feel like holding we were, them yeah, hostage. Yeah, we hold them hostage. I feel like we were with a celebrity <laughs> yeah. the whole day. And that was different. It was, it's cool. That was different, especially for me. Because it really, I'm really like, like y'all, y'all could have tapped us on the show. Yeah, like, they like move. They was like, like yeah, yeah. Can uh, we take a picture with him? Yeah. We have to step back. Yeah, now. I'm like, oh my bad. You know, I know y'all don't want to take a picture with me. Man. And me, I'm walking around with my hair twisted up and a headband, and then my uh, hidden cloud village headband mm-hmm. on top of that. And I'm out here looking like with a Nintendo backpack on, with a uh, uh, not even a Super Nintendo. <laughs> What a original Nintendo design backpack. Yeah. Like, I'm at my best right <laughs> now. And, and it, it's actually, what's funny is my family, my entire, literally my entire family, like my entire immediate family, they FaceTimed me because they're out of town right now. 
And they were like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> are you doing? And I'm like, I'm out here being my best self. <laughs> like, living my best living life. Living my best life. <laughs> <laughs> and they're looking at me like, Jesus. And they, like, like, they're trying to get a laugh out of it, but I'm like, nah. I, like, it's funny because it, just like you said earlier, it's just look how comfortable you are comfortable. in the environment. So. Yeah, like, dude, what do you mean? I don't look crazy. You should I, see some of the stuff out here. Yeah, yeah. I'm y'all, tame. Y'all look crazy. <laughs> I'm tame. This is very basic. Man, they had some... They they had some cosplays were on point. I know. Now, I know. and that's a and that's another thing, bro. So, being able having this small environment because I I want to hear more from you. I know I'm talking a lot. No, but um, it's so different being at a smaller expo that um, I get to walk around and look at all the artists. Mm-hmm. Normally, I don't get to do that. You yeah. can, but the bigger expos is busy. They run out of stuff. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any more prints. Oh, I don't have any more buttons. I gotta go back to my go back to my room and press more buttons. Yeah. Or they're just so busy you don't get to really interact with the artist like you want to. Yes. Um, but here, voice actors, artists, singers, yeah. you know, one of my favorite literally one of my favorite anime of all time is Naruto. And um one of the singers for she sang the song for the one of the best arcs intros that in unless you watch anime you have no idea what i just said right there <laughs> and she sang one of the intros to one of the seasons yeah one of the best intros and they she sang it live and the crowd lost they, their mind they went everybody was standing up because it was such an important season for that show an epic one and everybody knew where it was from soon as she started singing everybody's ears went up yeah. like you could tell who knew what that show was yeah um but the point um but the point of it is I get to soak it in and enjoy it. Yeah. I didn't buy no art today outside of the shirts. See? And if imagine if I went in there blind. Oh, man. Imagine that. Oh, I man. wouldn't have been... I would have been walking around. Oh, I would have spent all my money at the oh, first yeah. table. Oh, yeah. You know, knowing to... Hey, look around first. Look around, man. Try to hit then, as much as you can. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause, so that was dope to know. Even though we found something that was so crazy, yeah, we had to get it. Oh yeah, off you top. Know? I was and, like, oh. and, and please check out our Instagrams. Uh, they will be in the description yes, below to check out to get some more footage, not only your pictures and videos. Yeah, we're gonna try to update and add yeah, stuff, and yeah. I'll try to take more pictures because um, them Charizard shirts, man, them boy, is fire. they are fire. Man. I got the I got the Y you uh, uh, bearing end of getting the X the uh, the Charizard X. And they look amazing. And you know what? That's actually another thing too with um, with the quality of the shirt. So this guy's quality shirts they're they're not vinyl or anything. It's some type of sponge material, mm-hmm. some type of sponge paint. I don't even know if it's paint. Yeah. But the thing is, it's five layers. And the art the the guy who made the shirts he actually really geeked out when I recognized it was multiple layers, and. So much so, he even gave me his phone to show me his process. Yeah. So this man's behind a booth selling T-shirts. He's like, no, no, no. You look. Take and he the hit, phone. Take he the said, phone. take the phone. I'm some random big black dude holding this man's phone. <laughs> took the phone. Took the phone. And he had I'm watching. square yeah, on the bottom Yeah, of he it. had it square the way he took his money. Everything. And I'm sitting here watching this man's video on the process of him making shirts. Yeah. So he'll take the same shirt and he's pressing it on five different press machines. Mm-hmm. Maybe even six, depending on the shirt and the, how many colors are on it, and you can see the quality if you know if you know what you're looking at. Yeah. Like, I know that's not a basic T-shirt. Yep. Um, you called it. Though. Yeah. As soon as I seen it, I was you like, "This it, ain't." I looked up. Yeah. I, seen that, I said, "Whoa." Yeah. I was like, "This isn't normal. This isn't the." Yeah, man. He has so many different ones uh-huh. too. He had the Hadouken. Oh yeah. Even the man. One Punch Man was the dope. One Punch Man. I'm was shocked you didn't dope. get that one. I. I I've been so geeked out over One Punch Man. Yeah. Oh my god. Hundred ups. Hundred push ups. <laughs> I should have. Hundred ten kilometer runs. I'm gonna I'm tell you the One Punch Man would have been doper if it was One Punch Man on there. If he he was, was on if, there, but he was small. Oh, he was super small. Yeah. The Charizard one that we had. It looked. They look dope. Yeah. Like there. you know. So like that oh, shit's... The point I was trying to make. I know I'm always off topic. Yeah. I'm a bigger man. I need bigger shirts. The logo is the same ratio as if it was on a smaller shirt. Yeah. He made the logo bigger for the bigger shirts. Usually what happens is people make the one size logo 
and they put it on all their shirts. Mm-hmm. So if you got a three four X T shirt, the look logo like is it. gonna look like a, a emblem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it's gonna look like a like dead a center, like a company tag. Dead center in the middle. Yeah, of the it's gonna look like a brand stamp. <laughs> but the fact that it's still the same size yeah. is. Man, all of that, I respect people's crafts. Yep. Like, Especially the attention to detail. Yeah. Like, even remember the guy um, who tripped out with the guns? He, he made oh, weapons. Yeah. So, I walked up, and this guy, he had um, he had a bunch of different uh, prop weapons that he made from different genres, from different games and different shows, mm-hmm. and anime and video games and cartoons and whatnot. Well, I borderline disrespect him. I was like, oh, are these styrofoam? And he was like, nah, it's metal and plastic and resin. And I was like, oh, I feel like I really disrespected you. Man, I apologize. Man, like, because, man, <laughs> this man's weapons look dope. Yep. But it was just one of many things. And the fact that we're able to have those little breakdowns, those little conversations, there was always somewhere to sit. Yeah, always, always. Oh, there was that somewhere was, to sit. See, oh, that man. was cool. Yeah. Because at first, I walked in there with the intentions of standing for mm-hmm. six, seven hours. Yeah, but it wasn't that. That wasn't the case. Mm-mm. They had chairs there available mm-hmm. for people to sit. Uh, enough room to to move to maneuver through everybody and everything. Now, re- so that was dope. Now remember, this is a Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. So we'll so see people still have work. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. School school may have just started yeah. for a lot of people. Yep. Uh, so now let's see how tomorrow is. Tomorrow. I'm actually I'm. I hope it's not busy. Yeah. I want the I want the conference to do well. I want the expo to do well. Of course, you know I don't want to see anybody fail. Mm-hmm. But man, if because we even got to sit down and play games. Yeah, we we we, we hopped on the playing, arcade. Uh, Altered we, Beast. Yeah, we played Altered Beast, Aladdin, uh, Mortal Kombat. That dude whooped our ass. Yeah, at, uh, this, not Mortal Kombat. Um, Marvel versus Capcom. Uh, superheroes. superheroes. No, it wasn't even a superhero one. It was uh something of the supers cuz Marvel Marvel versus Capcom super you get to break the environment. Oh okay. Remember okay. that's the one where you get to throw people through the like if you're fighting on the street level um and I'll never forget it my first time playing I was fighting the Hulk as Wolverine. He grabbed me, threw me through the ground uh and through the street mm-hmm. and ended up in the sewer. Then he jumped down and then okay. the fight continued. Yeah. It wasn't destructible maps on the Man, one that we were dude whooped he whooped our ass. ass. Yeah, I was hanging in there for and, a little bit. And they were free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That part. Oh, that part. And they were. Oh, free. they were they free. Easily could have you pay a quarter to play. Man, Bro. we was sitting there playing. Yeah. Oh and man. He was on and, the sticks. Though. And we didn't even touch. We didn't even hit all the games. We only played three. We games. We only played three games. Yep. And they had so many. Diff- they had all the systems you can think of. Everything was there. So. Um. It, it's it's such a. Um. It it's such a it's such a crazy. A crazy experience, man, and I'm happy you really get to see this. So now you know what I, what I'm talking about, and yeah. I'm happy. What I'm happy about is that you have no problem moseying around and looking. No, no, no. You, you, I had to low key when you you were talking to somebody. I walked away and I had to look back for you because I'm like, oh, I'm moving off. So I'm moving yeah. through way too fast. This is <laughs> like when I was a kid again, just walking away, getting lost in right. Disneyland and stuff. So I had to to to, to really it. It's a lot of terms. It, I would say terms. It's a lot of terms. It's a lot of things. A lot of different artwork. A lot of different things out there that I don't know of at this convention at this expo mm-hmm. that we're at. So it's hard for me to walk away and relate to it, knowing that you may know what it is. So I'm sitting here and walk up to somebody, and I'm just looking at their stuff, and they ask me, and I I got to look at you to make sure. Hey, you know what they talk about? Because if you don't, if we both don't know, then we both good. Yeah. Because then it's like, oh well, tell yeah. me what's going on. You, you see what I'm saying? For me, at least, I it's it's new. All of it's new to me. The content, most of like the the most the, of the content, the content yeah. is cool. Is I can relate to this whole realm. I can relate to, but every specific thing inside of it. I'm not. It's not always relatable because I don't know what it is, or or I have to be reminded to of what it was. And and you know what I, yeah. yeah. Um. And that that you know what I kind of envy that mm-hmm. because um. And it's funny we were talking to somebody on the way out of the conference about being able to experience certain shows or certain movies or certain manga or certain books or comics mm-hmm. for the first time. Like I can only imagine how it feels to watch. We'll, we'll speak something that most people know about. The um, Walking Dead, from The Walking Dead for the first time. For the first time, or or um, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, like there's some kid out there who's watching that for the first time. For the first time, like that is 
a hell of an experience. Or it, or even like reading Ready Player One. Yeah. Like or, or you man. know what I mean? Like even even you getting to watch Rock Lee versus Gara mm-hmm. for the first for the time. First time. Man, could you imagine being a kid waiting all week mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden a new episode comes on and that happens? <laughs> Bro, I don't. I'm not trying to spoil it because once again, I, even though it's damn near ten plus years old, yeah. maybe more. Yeah. Well, hell, if you go to the manga, it's mm-hmm. really old. Mm-hmm. You you getting to see that light in people. I love once again, just like when people light up about what they love to talk about and exactly. their passions. When you get to see that light in people, it is such a dope experience. Yeah, like it's like that's humanity. Yeah. That's humanity at its best. That's exactly what it is. Like, you see somebody doing something that doesn't hurt anybody. They're they in, love to they do it. They love to do it, and they're around somebody who's interested enough or loves it, too. Dope. Yeah. Can't, I that's, why, you, that's why I tell people, leave people alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. They're not hurting you. Or they don't have plans to hurt you. Yeah. Because I know you can twist this conversation Of course, p- p- people going to do it, yeah. but at the same but, time, but that's what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, like... It's healthy. It don't hurt nobody. It doesn't have plans to hurt nobody, and it's fun. Yep, man. I... That's just like this. I tell people, and we were talking to the gentleman who we were hanging with, who does cosplay. Yeah, he was like, I don't want to commercialize it or nothing, even though he could yeah. easily. I damn near gave him a whole marketing plan in five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I was like, bro, yeah. I just watched six people take pictures with you. Mm-hmm. Imagine if you handed him a business card. Boom, and then they tagged you in it, and now you're all over the internet, known as you the Black viral. Kakashi. You're possibly going viral. And you're the Black like Kakashi. That. Yeah, that's what people know you as. Exactly. They expect to see you at every conference. Mm-hmm. Now you like, got, yeah, yeah. Now you, you, you know what I mean? Look, yeah. boom, right there. I just made a. <laughs> but he was like, "I do this because I enjoy it." Yep. And I'm like, "That's the best." It's funny. A lot of people there do most of that stuff because they, they enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah. So like we had some genuine conversation with people. Um, I won't really go too much detail because it was a lot. It was a lot. But we had some genuine conversation with a lot of people there that love to do what they're doing. Yeah. They were there at the expo doing what they do while they're trying to control their booth. Yep. So for me, at least, to see that is not only does that is that real motivating, but it's also like you can, like I said, you this is like I feel at home in this realm like it really was yeah. cool and to hear that there's expos out there way bigger than this like this was light yeah like, light light compared yeah. to other things i'm scared yeah like i'm really scared to go to anything outside of this like because now it's like dang like i don't know what i got myself into i this was this was okay this was cool i'm cool with this but now i go to something else where it's Way bigger, way much more people, too different. It's hot. I'm standing here. I <laughs> Bro. There's not enough seats. Well, you heard my prep talk. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm like, that's, hey, so it opens at ten, we need to get here by six. Yeah. That's why I said it wasn't as scary as you made it seem. Yeah, hey, cause that's that's what I'm used to. Yeah. I'm GameStop Expo, for example. Mm-hmm. Um, hell, I went to I did a turnaround one before because it's sometimes it used to be in Vegas yeah. too. Um, well, so it being in Anaheim, I either get a room and I'm ready. So let's say I get a room. I got a room, which I'm usually staying in some rope spot. Like, I don't buy nothing crazy because yeah. I'm not planning on staying there. Exactly. But I get a room. I wake up around like five, get ready, walk over to the conference because I don't feel like getting parking. Or if I checked out that morning, if I'm only going for one day, park my car, get a good spot because clearly I'm there too early. Yeah. And then I'm sitting in line. I get there. I'm here. It is. I'll be three to four hours early. Still a line. Dang. I'm still like the sixtieth plus person in a line. That's crazy. And it, so it's best to be here there early. That's that's why I told you. I hit you, you like, with yeah, that. I'm man, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of going a little late. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I don't know, man. But that's just because of what I'm used to. Exactly. So I'm happy that this is a light experience. Not light as in. Um, not light as in content or in the experience, mm-hmm. but light as in the amount of people there. Yeah. Because we're getting a lot. Like, uh, we've seen a lot. It just didn't feel like it because there wasn't a bunch of people clamoring around. Yeah, it was. It, literally, we just booth, 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 booth. booth yeah. Booth. And, then, and even after going booth, 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 it was a gang of stuff we made. Yes. Yep. We you didn't know, even hit all the artists. behind us. We yeah, didn't we hit didn't all go, the artists. Yeah. Up. We didn't hit all of the aisles that they had uh-huh. there. So... 
it was a lot. We didn't of, even go look at all the games they had available. We really didn't. We didn't play all of the we games. We didn't play we all should, the games. We had. We literally, if we would have stayed there, and we could have ran down the line of games that they had on mm-hmm. all of those tables, all of those box, all those boxes. We could have played every single thing they had yep. in there. Yep. So, we didn't even watch none of the tournaments we didn't for watch that none day. Of the tournaments today. So we anything. have. We actually have a lot to do tomorrow. Yes, we do. And that's why I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's. Uh, I'm really happy I'm here with you getting to see this. Of course. Because, um, so somebody else can get hooked on it too. Because um, you, you know me, man. I'm usually, I'm usually like, oh, there's a what? <laughs> there's a what? I'm there. Man, let's yeah. go. But that, and that's, that's cool. Because now I know, like, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm privy to it now, or I'm a little bit privy to it now. So the next thing that comes up, I'm not as starstruck, or I'm probably gonna be, oh. but I'm not as like new to the process. Let me tell you my most starstruck moment, and it was the most weirdest thing ever oh. because the actor is uh, okay. So let me give some background before it sounds like I'm being a weirdo. <laughs> so at the time, this was probably three, four years ago. It was before I had kids, so okay. yeah, about three. Might even been before I was married. Yeah. So. Kylie got me tic- uh Kylie got me tickets to Comic Con. Mm, right. So we go to Comic Con and um I'm big into Adventure Time. I love Adventure Time. Yeah. The voice actor for Finn, the main character, Jeremy Shade, which if you know the backstory, it used to be his older brother, but then his voice changed when they brought it over the show and uh, I don't, wait, I don't think it was cuz of his voice changed, but they it was something along those lines. They he they rewrote him as a younger character and they were like oh well my brother he kind of sounds and they were like oh okay yeah. so but the cool thing is him as a character actor and voice actor grew up with the character okay so the character's aged and so has him so even uh, during the voice changes like his voice would crack during the show and they would animate it to it and all of this and it was dope yeah. well so this is my favorite show favorite uh, main character and here comes the voice actor he walks by <laughs> Kylie, uh, so my wife, she was like, that's him. Yeah. And here it is, I'm getting a comic book signed by some of the artists for the show. <laughs> and then he walks up, and I'm like, huh, hey, <laughs> um, man, love your work. Shaking, he's like, oh, thank you. All oh, light heart, light work. <laughs> and it, so I'm this big ass dude, like damn near hunched over, shaking hands with this kid because yeah. he's a teen at the time. I think he was like 16, 17. Yeah. He's like, oh, thank you, thank you. And I'm like, dude, you work, your work's amazing. Yeah. Like, I, it, it was so weird because I fanboyed out. <laughs> and this dude was like, like 16, 17. Yeah. Like, and it just, like, <laughs> it was, su- it was super weird experience. Uh-huh. But, but you, um, it's, it's cool because you see people, like, we seen the voice actor for a lot of major characters. Armin from uh, Attack on Titan. Um, what other? Sh- uh, he was. Uh, I keep forgetting how to say his name, but the bird guy from uh, My Hero Academia, like that voice actor guy, like he's just sitting there. Nobody was by his booth. Like one yeah. dude. Like here, not. Re- I'm looking. I'm like people are um, the artist who sang the intro songs for Naruto. Yeah. She's just sitting there. Yeah, she was just nobody, sitting there. Like nobody walked up, and I'm like, you only reason. <laughs> Nobody was pressing is because there wasn't a big crowd. Yeah, if you had a, if there was a thousand more people there, you wouldn't have been able to get nowhere near those booths. Yeah, you know, because everybody would have figured out who's who. Who she's in. Yeah, and, and it, it's everybody fun- wants an autograph. It's and funny picture. how crowd, it's funny how crowds like that work. That's yeah. why. Um, that's why. Once again, I, I'm doubling down on this. Smaller conferences, more interactive, intimate conferences, yeah. and expos. There, you get more out of it. It. Because when I go to bigger ones, I feel like I'm just going with the motion, trying to go with the flow, look at what I can as I'm being pushed by the wave of people. <laughs> yeah, you know, you try to get past. And then I feel rushed to buy stuff yeah. because I don't know if it's going to be there. Um, See, that, but I, that, you know what? You know what kind of stopped me on that is the fact that I ain't got no space. I ain't got part, no damn space. So that part. I'm like, you know what? If it's here, I really want it. If it's here, when I get back, I'll get it. Yeah. You know? And, and that's. Um, and oh, oof, I love that, mm-hmm. bro. Um, it makes me it, that is so dope because I'm like uh, that's the point I hit because of how much stuff I have. Yeah, it's really bad. It's almost it's almost it's uh yeah um it's almost really unnecessary because yeah. I'm like Jesus. So if it's something that I'm like ooh, if it stops me 
and it's within a reasonable price. I'll just like it. the shirts. Just like the shirts. Those stop me. Reasonable price. I know I'm not gonna wear it. Mm-hmm. I know it's not gonna take up all the space in the world. It's yeah. not like I gotta. It the the artwork is so dope that when that shirt gets beat up and done, I'm gonna cut the part out and put it in the Save frame still, yeah. and put it in the frame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how dope the artwork is on it. Like, and I've done that to shirts. Like, yeah. like oh no, I want that. Like, I want this. Yeah, like the shirt's done, but that's not. <laughs> but I need that. Yeah, that come home. Yeah. Like, but um, but we're starting to hit that time mark. Um. We're almost at about an hour. Today was dope, man. Yeah, I was about to say, any final thoughts? No, I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow. I can't wait to see uh, what's hap- what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, we got a couple tournaments we're going to watch. Mm-hmm. and um, I'm trying to convince them to play in that Street Fighter tournament. I don't know, man. I don't know if they want these hands, dog. <laughs> nah, let me not jump out there. <laughs> right? Get beat down. I, yeah, get destroyed. Um, nah, man, I, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see, man. It, it is something that I can. Uh, I'm excited for because it's a lot going on tomorrow. That, and it's still it's not the full experience yet. It's mm-hmm. two more days of this. Yeah, it's two more days of this. So what, I only had one third of it as for going there. Yeah, but for the content there, it's a lot to consume. So oh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes, man. Yep. Well, all right, folks. Uh, make sure to subscribe. We really need all the support we can get. Um, and I appreciate you trumping through this with us. Hopefully the sound isn't too bad or wasn't too bad. We are, once again, one mic. One mic. In a hotel room. One laptop. Like, one laptop. One table. Yeah, one table. Like, it, it just, <laughs> it's, we roughing it. Yes, um, But I really do appreciate all the, um, appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us over time. Let us know in the comments what expos you guys enjoyed. Have you ever been to one? Um, or, or your if you favorite have, expo moment. Yeah, your favorite expo moment. Or even if you have any questions about the expo, like mm-hmm. let us know, man. Communicate with us. Communicate. We're really we're really active. Um, follow, make sure to follow us. All the links are below. And um, yeah, man. Much love. Peace. Peace.